Hello again, my antics family, and welcome back to another episode. This week, we have a bunch of great updates for you. We're going to be checking out the Five Queen Fire Ant Colony, which now has its first nanitics. We're going to be taking a look at our Aphenogaster Colony that we have an official name for that we found down in the comments. And we're going to be taking a close look at some of the new products that Myantix has in its line of merch. Let's twist into it. Let's start off with a bang with the Burning Empire and their mighty amount of new Nanitix. We all knew it wasn't going to take very long, but I wasn't expecting so many to hatch in a, such a short period of time. By the way, ants are awesome. You came up with the Burning Empire name. It's magnificent and a thousand thank yous for participating in the name game. I really appreciate it and I hope you have more name suggestions for the future. Thank you very much. Have some peace and quiet in the dark, and let's move on. After seeing the progress that the Burning Empire made, it leaves one question to be desired for our Phenogastric Pisces colony, and that is, what name could be epic enough to label our Phenogastric colony for until the end of time? Well, username The Hatred came up with something seriously awesome that I don't think I could overlook, and that name is. The Black Voyagers. I feel that the Black Voyagers explains this colony down to a pin because this colony is rough, tough, aggressive, and like little bulldogs that run around trying to attack anything and everything that moves in its path. Let's go take a look now and see how they're doing. It's officially been close to one week since we moved in our Phenogaster colony, now known as the Black Voyagers, into the Myantix Vortex Nest and Outworld. One thing you might notice right away is the extra globs of Fluon around the Outworld. Off camera, I had a lot of escape bees while I was maintaining them, so I tried my best to make sure they weren't going to get out of their enclosure. One thing that stands out about their outworld is their little dug-in holes that they made here. The sand can't be more than a half an inch thick, but they've already started burrowing and making little caves in the outworld, though that is not where the majority of them is. 
Let's peek into the vortex nest and see exactly what these little girls are up to. really seem like they right at home inside their vortex nest. But let's not forget that we have the first original colony in the ant room as well. The Avengers. Though they're being smaller, I see a lot of activity in their outworld. Though for some reason at this particular time, the Black Voyagers and the Avengers are quiet as a mouse. Let's sneak peek in what they got going on as well. You'll automatically notice that since we moved them in, their numbers have skyrocketed, and it's only going to continue to grow bigger. It won't be long before they're up to 50 workers, and they'll have some real activity going on for us to watch. That will be an exciting moment in the Miantic's history. The color changing vortex nest is truly something to behold, and I'm glad to say the official release date is not far away. For now though, we're going to wrap up the video. I hope you take a moment to check out the new Myantics website. I hope you have a chance to comment, subscribe, like, 
and do everything you can to be a better ant keeper than you were yesterday. You all have a wonderful night and keep on keeping on. Happy ant keeping.